Hello mis amigas and welcome back to my channel. Hope you're doing great. Hope you're having an amazing day. And today it's time for more photos. It's time to be a supermodel on the cover of magazines. At least we're gonna attempt that. Hopefully in this video we'll recreate magazine covers that took me forever to find because for some reason I couldn't find magazine covers that felt like I could recreate them and also looked like something I would want to recreate because either they're like way too extravagant and just like not possible for me to even try and recreate or they're just ugly just not something I'd be into recreating. Now I found a couple good ones on Pinterest that at least I'm interested in recreating because I think they could turn into cool pictures. So here we are today and, and, and we and we want to do that. Look what you took, Ma. Aw, oh, Taki. Now what do you want? Give it a thumbnail. Why would that be my thumbnail? I don't know, it's cute. Ow! Oh, sorry. Hello! Cool. <laughs> you will notice that most of the magazine covers that I've chosen are more so profile shots. If I were to do a full body shot, then either I would have to go outside, which I don't really want to do, or I would have to build an entire set. And then, again, magazine covers are usually very extravagant, and I just couldn't find one that I like that is also possible for me to recreate at home. So the magazine begs the question, do you believe in magic? So I'm just gonna ask you if you believe in magic. <laughs> this is the cover that we're gonna recreate featuring Tinashe. I'm sure you all know this Megan Fox movie. I saw it on Tumblr first because it was all over Tumblr back in the day. I bought a couple of things that would hopefully make me look, at least styling wise, a little bit more like her. The first thing I got is just this basic bomber jacket and then the second thing I got, which I think is essential to recreating this photo, are these cherry earrings. I have no idea how they will look on me but I'm gonna try wearing them first and then I might take them out. This is gonna look Ridiculous. Taco is cuddling with me for emotional support because you also think this will look ridiculous. Oh, he left. Wow. Turns out I'm not Tinashe. <laughs> Time to go into the photo studio. And as per usual, the studio is conveniently placed right next to the litter box. <laughs> but well, before we start, many of you ask me which camera I use for these type of videos or photos and I usually just take Naomi's which is this one. <laughs> Maybe this info will help you? I mean her photo looks like it was taken outside. Also not on a sunny day and for once, or actually the last three days have been quite beautiful here in Berlin but like now that I don't need the sun, the sun is there and if I need it then it's not there. You always want what you can have. Amen. How did I get there? I do not know. I've got cherries in my ears, so I don't even know what's happening anymore. It looks like it was taken in a forest or something because the lighting really seems darkish, you know, forest kind of lighting. We're not in a forest here, we're just in front of a white wall. This looks ugly. Ugly, but a little bit better. All right, we are ready to fuck things up. I don't know why I want to fuck things up. I just put the trap up to the highest setting and then I'm also gonna do some squats. This should be her right hand she's holding up. I'm trying to look at what her face is telling me and her face is kind of telling me I'm annoyed a bit. Obviously we need space above our head for the title of the magazine. Always remember that. Hope it looks good. <gasps> Obviously you can't breathe when you've got a flame right in front of your mouth. I'll just take a couple more just for good luck and I'll always end up taking about like a hundred photos to find one good one just for you to have a rough estimate. I think I've got a nice recreation of hers. Now I kind of want to change it a little bit. I'm gonna take off these. <laughs> this is something that I would wear if I were to do a photo shoot like that because I think this fits the vibe a little bit more. Okay, now I think we're huge. Hopefully. If so, then these are the results. This is my recreation of this beautiful magazine cover by Tinashe. And this is basically this look. <laughs> Let's move on to the second one. But before that, I think we're gonna get some donuts. Yeah. A donut and a lunch later. It's time for the second photo. And for that one, we're gonna go... 
I think it may be the Ukrainian Vogue. Either way, we're gonna do this cover now. And obviously the model on the cover has a lot of forget-me-nots on her face and her neck. That is why I went on to Etsy and bought some dried forget-me-nots. <laughs> so, you guys better forget me not. Maybe I don't have enough. Now I'm just gonna try and apply them to my face. I will try and make that happen with this glowing moisturizer that I've got. Here goes nothing. I want one there. I want another one here. And another one here. Huh. This is working. I think I'll have to duplicate the flowers when I'm editing the photo because I seem to not have enough. As for the lighting and everything, this looks like a very well-lit studio photo. So I am gonna go back into our home studio and maybe unbutton my shirt if you know what I mean. <laughs> All right, time to turn the light on. Put this down. <laughs> <laughs> this looks so stupid. Hers doesn't look as naked because she's got all of this hair, which I don't have. That kind of sucks. <laughs> she's definitely exposing her collarbones. I mean, honestly though, I took three shots, but I think that's already pretty good. Oh, uh, even my mood ring is blue right now. Fits it perfectly. What does blue mean? Sadness? Cause this kind of looks like a beauty shot for, I don't know, a makeup brand. For skincare, actually. I would love to advertise for skincare. My skin isn't perfect, but I think it's pretty good. And I would be such a great brand ambassador for Fenty Skin because Fenty Skin literally saved my skin. I even texted them on Instagram and they never got back to me. Anyway, <laughs> I'm done with this. Let me get these off of my face and then I'll tell you what we're gonna do next. Sometimes I forget to say this part, but here's the original and here's my recreation of it. Hope you like it. Hope I like it. Well, it was definitely interesting. It's something I've never done before and this is what these videos are for and also to inspire you guys to do something out of your comfort zone and just something that you've never done before because that's always fun. Unless it looks like crap, then it's not as much fun, but at least you've tried something. So always look on the bright side, which I never do, but you should. And now, since I was just talking about Fenty skin, it's time to put some Fenty into this video. It's time to do a Rihanna magazine cover. And I found one that I haven't seen that often, and it's just a really simple one, I think, especially for Rihanna. And so we're gonna do this day's cover. Obviously, I really like the colors of the picture in general. She just looks amazing, but she's Rihanna, so... Duh. I also got a yellow jacket and I'm gonna find a matching eyeshadow from the homie and I'm gonna put that on my eyes, I guess. <laughs> I've stolen, no I nicely asked obviously, a palette with one yellow shade in it. Rihanna has so much lit space and I'm just like, I don't. <laughs> oh. Makeup tutorial by Vincent, just make yourself look sick and you gooch. Honestly, is that it already? I have bad, bad news. Oh, the bad news just took care of itself because Chili left the spot where I wanted to take the photo. So this is the setup. We've got our sofa here, the camera right here, the ring light right here, oh, the jacket. Now I just have to adjust the camera and then we can take the photo. This is very uncomfortable. So she's got her eyes closed, which makes my job a bit harder. And then she doesn't do anything really. Okay, I think it's all right. It's just not great yet. And I think much of it has to do with the lighting as well. Now this is my amazing new construction, just on this table that you are sitting on as well. I look so stupid. Honestly, I think we're pretty good with this one. But we've got more tomorrow. Again, this is Rihanna's version of the cover and this is my recreation, which I hope you like. You should. Please like it. I'm wearing eyeshadow, so you have to like it. I'll see you tomorrow. Hi, it's not tomorrow. It's actually three days later. Issues arose that kind of fucked up my life and especially this filming process. But here we are now. You don't really care. Today, I've got three more photos planned or three more magazine covers planned. You know, the other ones, they went kind of okay. I feel like today I have set myself up for failure with the three ones that I've got planned. I'm just being realistic. We're probably gonna fail, but we're gonna try our best. The first one I wanna recreate today is this Czech Vogue cover. And yeah, you know, really setting myself up for failure here, but 
yeah there's a lot of editing going on there i haven't looked at it as much because i would like i don't want to look at it and analyze it because then i realize all the things i do not have to make this photo actually work and this is just gonna freak me out so i'm just gonna pretend i looked at it with one eye closed i don't even know anyway today i was thinking of changing my hair up a little bit because it has been the same in the three other photos this is a great view <laughs> I'm just not sure how I want to style it today. Okay, I guess this is the style we're going for and now it's time to get the set ready. I'm nervous. So this is my beautiful setup. We've got the camera right there, then a super long kitchen island, which is not super long, which is a shame. And then I just have this bed sheet installed there, so maybe I can recolor it later. It's a very, very long shot, but until our dream dies, we can keep it alive. We're just not gonna talk about my construction right here to be able to place the camera like this. Now let me become a hand model. Beautiful. And I guess that's all I can do here and the rest is up to the editing hands of Vincent. <laughs> Apart from the fact that I have to face the shit out of my ugly ass hand, this just looks ridiculous. I feel like it's getting worse. <laughs> Right now, I don't believe that it'll turn into something good. And even if not, this is the best I could do. Here's the cover for reference again. Let's move on. Alrighty guys, it's time for the last picture. For that, we're gonna have to move to Naomi's shower because this is the photo that we're gonna recreate or the magazine cover that we're gonna recreate. I don't know, I think it's gonna be a bit difficult because we need a lot and I don't have that much skill. I love my very professional setup. We've got the camera here, we've got <laughs> this lamp hanging from the heater because we need a warm yellowish light coming from this side. And then <laughs> we've got the blanket hanging on the back wall of the shower. This doesn't come off as very blue right now, but this is a blue light hitting my face from the front and a red light in the back. Yeah, now we just gotta make it rain. Well, obviously I gotta wet my hair a bit. <laughs> now it also has to rain on our window. It's raining. Ooh, this looks cool. You guys probably can't even hear me anyway. My rain. <laughs> my rain. I think I'm done. <laughs> what even is my hair now? <laughs> I guess this is the life we're living now. With that being said, I think this is the end of the video. This was the last cover I wanted to recreate, so let me know what you think if you look at my recreation here and the original here. Even though this one had a bit of an interesting DIY setup, I think I like this one the most. Or I felt most comfortable creating this one. I haven't seen the results yet, so I can't really say if I like it or not. Oh my god, I cannot. What is this? Okay, so let me know which of my recreations you like the most. I definitely know which one I like the least. <laughs> That being said, let me know which type of photos or pictures or whatever I should recreate next. This was fun and I love hanging out with you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Y entonces nos vemos la próxima vez y bye!